Hello, hello everyone. I hope everyone is well. This is Angelique from Rendered Hearts and I'm here to have a heart to heart with you. Now yesterday, we celebrated Resurrection Sunday. And oh, how, how much of a blessing it was just to know that there was somebody who thought of you more than you thought of yourself somebody who loved you more than you loved yourself sometimes we can't even fathom that that thought you know in the world that we're living in right we always think you know people are against us but we have a God who allowed his son to die on the cross for our sins not the sins that he did but the sins that we did we didn't even do it yet. He thought of us even before we were born. And he loved us in spite of all the things that we've gone through. Resurrection Sunday was something different for me. And I hope it was for you too. I was able to see a cousin be baptized. And I was able to see a renewed hope in her, her spirit, in her mind, in her actions. You know, we could become so discouraged with with the world and everything that the world is. You know, just just the world, the world itself, and the systems of this world could be so draining. It could be so tiresome and just so discouraging. But it's in the Word that we have hope. It is in Christ that we have hope. And so I want to leave you with a scripture. Romans 12, 1 and 2. And I always, I always go back to this scripture whenever I feel discouraged and I feel like I can't, I can't move on. It's just a renewing scripture. It's a renewing scripture and it helps you to remember. And remember, we are in this world. We are in this world. We're not of this world. And so we have to remember that. I am so excited. I'm mean, so excited for the body of Christ. I'm so excited for you because God is still on the throne. Christ actually died for us. And we have the ability to renew our minds. And so Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. That is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. This is a scripture that I have known I have been meditating on for years. And when I think about be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind, I was thinking like, how am I going to renew my mind? We renew our mind with knowledge. We renew our mind with the word, with understanding, with wisdom. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's so important. It's so important to be engulfed in the word and to let the word resonate with you and for you to have an understanding of the word and then apply the word to your life and then see the word manifest in your life in a new way i think that's what god is trying to tell us renew our minds so that he can do the things that he wants to do in our lives because you know sin Regardless, we know, you know, we all fall, sin, fall short of the glory of God through sin or by because of sin. And I feel like God is telling us to draw near to me as I draw near to you. I want you. I want more of you. And so let me encourage you to transform your mind. Renew your mind. Renew your mind so that God can have his way in your life. I hope this resonates with your spirit.
And I hope this brings you new hope. Have a blessed, blessed day. But before we do that, let's pray. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ, your son that died on the cross for our sins. We're so grateful for you, oh God, for first having that sacrifice to allow your son to go through such excruciating pain for us. We're grateful for you, oh God. And as we continue to engulf ourselves in the word, help us to renew our minds, dear God, by applying the word of God in our lives, having an understanding and granting us wisdom. We honor you, O oh God. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask all these things in no other name but your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you.